This is John Cola with GrowingYourGreens.com. I have another exciting episode for you. And today what we're going to do is we're going to harvest some seeds. We're going to harvest uh, some wakate seeds, which is a, a, an herb that I grew this year. Uh, they use it in South America in place of cilantro, and it's actually a delicious herb. And uh, after the frost, this guy didn't make it, but it grew like crazy. I mean, this thing probably was about, if I staked it up, maybe like it'd go to six, eight feet tall nice large bush and I can only see if you grew it in the tropics it would grow as a nice uh, plant probably for some time you can see here it's literally looking like a little uh, tree trunk there nice and thick but at last the plant has succumbed to the cold weather and the next thing we're gonna do is harvest the uh, seeds so I want to encourage you guys to actually uh, save your seeds it's probably one of the most critical gardening skills that you can have if, if you want to be sustainable and self-sustainable and self-sufficient because you know say one day there's no more seed catalogs you got to be able to actually save your seeds and regrow them year after year so saving seeds is very important and the best time to learn about it is now and so these are very easy seeds to uh, harvest and let, let me show you guys how to do that the first thing is John how do I know if there's some seeds in there to harvest well the thing I like to do that's just really simple and easy and uh, how do you, how you could determine if they're ready or not is shake it. Can you guys hear that noise? It's like those little shakers you had when you were in kindergarten. You'd shake and they'd make that little noise. If you listen very closely, you could hear the seeds shaking around in the pot. So that way you're going to know they're fully mature and ready to uh, come out. So what I'm going to do is actually just cut this guy off here. And now we got the, uh, the seed pods in here. And this is where the flowers were. And I'm just going to go ahead and take a a large plastic bag you could use a paper bag or maybe even like a pillowcase I'm gonna put them in there and just shake vigorously now this may dislodge some of the seeds and I'll shake it again actually it dislodged most of the seeds I'll shake it again well and so that dislodges most of the seeds into the bag sometimes I'll take my hand and just actually just uh, get the rest just by doing that and actually now I have a large bag full of the seeds and some of the shaft in different parts. Uh, let me go ahead and show you guys actually some of the seeds in here. So you can see the seeds here of this wakate are like little like lines. They're really small and dark. Each one of these guys could produce a whole nother plant just like this. And actually this is a quite a rare uh, plant because you don't see it too much. But it's a nice edible that I've learned about this year that you could actually just uh, nice to uh, pick and eat them or put them in some dishes to uh, give it some flair and pizzazz and some taste sensations that you've never tasted before. Now aside from harvesting the wakate seeds here, I'm also harvesting some other seeds down on the bottom that are just hanging out. If you look very closely, uh, you know I'm harvesting these guys right here. And these guys are actually the Malbar spinach seeds, the red Malbar spinach seeds. And so I'll just take these guys off the little vine here and uh, bag them up. Now, the Malbar spinach in my garden, sometimes I'll let them just drop on the ground. And then uh, next spring, they'll actually just start growing on their own. If you want to control that, then harvesting your seeds and then uh, planting them out at the right time. Another seed I'm saving right now is these guys over here. I don't know if there's any left here on the, on the plant. They're on this plant. Oh, there, here's one hanging on right here. And actually, the, these seeds are actually the uh, agretti seeds. So the agretti was an amazing crop I grew. Uh, I can't really show it to you now because it's uh, dried out past the season. But you, you check my past videos for agretti. And so these are the agretti seeds, and they're actually they're quite interesting. Let me go ahead and get one out of the little husk thing for you. Removed all the little uh, shaft covering, and you can see that's the one little agretti seed. And it looks like a little snail, like curled up in a ball, like how the snail shell looks. They're really interesting seeds. Now I have heard these agretti seeds, you know, may not germinate too well, and also they can be slow growers, so I am saving some seeds uh, to plant them out later in the springtime. But as luck would have it and as nature works, you know, nature knows what's best. And, you know, I always try to model nature. And if I looked to nature for the answers, we could look down here and in this area where I actually didn't harvest any of the agretti seeds, and here's a little plant tag, agretti. Uh, they've already started to come up, so they look like little blades of grass right in here, and there's just a whole bunch of them. Now, this area has been protected with a layering of greens, protected from the cold weather, 
I'm not sure how this is going to do in the cold weather or not. I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm cleaning out this bed, so we're going to remove some of the greens here. And we're going to see if the agrete uh, continues to grow. So, you know, nature knows best. I always like to let some of my seeds drop in the place and see if they come back. Because then, you know, if you establish certain crops in certain areas of your garden, then that'll make your garden basically a low maintenance garden. And that's what I go for is I want to try to make everything a low maintenance garden. Just let the seeds drop and let it grow back. And, you know, all I have to do is come and eat the food and the produce that I'm growing. So I really hope from this episode you guys uh, glean that you guys really need to start saving some of your seeds. Uh, you know, start today, start sharing your seeds with others because this is the way we could keep the genetic diversity alive. I mean, Agretti is a fairly rare crop, but I'm growing it and it's coming back. And I, I got a little seed store so that I can continue to grow it and uh, pass it along to others as well. Uh, once again, my name is John Kohler with GrowingYourGreens.com. We'll see you next time. And remember, keep on growing.